Hello friends, welcome to Adobe Flash video tutorials series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand tools available in the toolbar. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss the pen tool, sub selection tool, add anchor point tool, delete anchor point tool and convert anchor point tool. Pen tool has the shortcut key P. Pen tool is used to create straight lines and curved lines. Pen tool is used to draw straight lines and curved lines. It is used to create simple to complex artworks. It is also used to trace already created artworks. To use pen tool, first you need to select the pen tool. Click to add an anchor point without handles which allows us to draw a straight line. Click to add an anchor point without handles which allows us to draw a straight line. Let me go to Adobe Flash. I select the pen tool. I click to create an anchor point without handles. I click to create an anchor point without handles. It draws a straight line from the previous anchor point to the current anchor point. I select the selection tool and I click the, here. You can see that it has drawn a straight line. I select the pen tool. Click to create an anchor point without handles. Click to create an anchor point without handles. It draws a straight line from the current anchor point to the previous anchor point. So that is how you can draw a straight line guys. Next, click and drag to add an anchor point with handles which allows us to draw a curved line. To draw a curved line, you need to click and drag to add an anchor point with handles guys. I go back here, select the pen tool. I click and drag. You can see that I have just clicked and dragged to create an anchor point with handles. So this is left handle and this is right handle guys. I click and drag to create an anchor point with handles. You can see that it is going to draw a curved line. We can control the steepness of the curve with the help of handles. We can even change the direction of the curve with the help of handles guys. I select the selection tool, you can see that it has drawn a curved line. I select the pen tool, click and drag to add an anchor point with handles. Click and drag to create an anchor point with handles and you can see that we have drawn a curved line. Next, to remove the right handle at any time, click on the anchor point with handles guys. I go back here, select the pen tool, I click and drag. To create an anchor point with handles, I click and drag here to create an anchor point with handles. You can see that I have drawn a curved line. Now what I want is, I want to draw a straight line from here to here. To draw a straight line from this anchor point to here, I need to delete the right handle guys. To delete the right handle, we just need to click on the anchor point with handles. And then if I click here, it creates a straight line, you can see that. I can close the path. I go to the beginning anchor point. You can see that beside the pen tool, we see a small circle that indicates we are closing the path. If I click, it closes the path. I select the selection tool. You can see that we have drawn a shape. So that is how you can use the pen tool. I say control A and say delete. Let's proceed further and get more information. To start the new drawing without closing the path, select some other tool on the toolbar or just double click. I go back to Adobe Flash, I select the pen tool. I click to create an anchor point without handles, click to create an anchor point without handles, click to create an anchor point without handles, click to create an anchor point without handles. Click to create an anchor point without handles. I need to close the path. To close the path, what do we do guys? We go to the beginning anchor point. Once we see a circle beside the pen tool, we click to close the path. Once I close the path, I can draw a new shape. I click to create an anchor point without handle. I click to create an anchor point without handle. I click to create an anchor point without handle. And I can close the path. Once I close the path, we can draw a new shape guys. If you want to draw a new shape without closing the path, what you need to do? 
select some other tool on the toolbar or just double click. Let's see that. I have selected the pen tool. I click here to draw a anchor point without handle. Click, click, click. Now what I want, I want to draw a new shape somewhere here. To draw a new shape somewhere here, first I need to end the current drawing. So what I have to do, I need to select some other tool on the toolbar. I select the selection tool. Again I select the pen tool and I click here to begin a new drawing. Click, 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 click. To begin a new drawing what I have to do guys? I have to select some other tool on the toolbar and then select the pen tool and start drawing. We have also an option of double clicking to end the current drawing. For example, I click here, click here, click here. Now I want to end this drawing. I want to draw a new drawing in this place. So what I can do is I can just double click to end the drawing guys. You can see that I click here to begin a new drawing. Click, click, click. I can close the path. I hope you guys have clearly understood. Next, to continue the previous drawing, select the path using sub selection tool. To continue the previous drawing, select the path using sub selection tool first. Then select the pen tool. Click on the last anchor point of the path. I go back here. Let's take, I want to continue this drawing guys. I want to continue this drawing. So what I have to do, first I have to select the sub selection tool and click on the path. What it does, it activates the anchor points. You can see that it activates the anchor points. We can see the anchor points of that path. And then select the pen tool, click on the last anchor point to indicate that we want to continue this drawing. I click here and then I continue the drawing just by clicking. Click, click, click. We can close the path. I click here to close the path. So that is how you can continue the previous drawing guys. I hope you guys have clearly understood. What is sub selection tool? Sub selection tool has the shortcut key A. Sub selection tool allows us to activate and directly select an anchor point. We have selection tool and sub selection tool. Selection tool is used to select the shape whereas sub selection tool is used to activate and directly select an anchor point guys. I go back here. I select the selection tool. It is used to select the shape guys. I double click to select this shape. I double click to select this shape. I double click to select this shape. If we have to activate anchor points and select them directly, we take help of sub selection tool guys. I click on the path. You can see that it has activated the anchor points. We can select directly an anchor point and click and drag to modify it guys. We can select an anchor point, click and drag to modify. So that is the use of sub selection tool. I hope you guys have clearly understood. I select this path. You can see that it has activated the anchor points. I can click and drag the anchor point directly and modify it. So that is the use of sub selection tool. I hope you guys have clearly understood. Next we understand add anchor point tool. Add anchor point tool allows us to add an additional anchor point. To add an additional anchor point what you have to do is first you should select the add anchor point tool. You can use the shortcut key plus or equal to. Move the mouse cursor on the path Click to add an anchor point guys. I go back here. Let's take I want to add some additional anchor points to this rectangle shape. So what I can do is first I select the sub selection tool. Select this path to activate the anchor points. You see we have four anchor points here. Then I go here select add anchor point tool. I go near to the path. Click to add an additional anchor point. 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 I select the sub selection tool. Select this anchor point. Click and drag to modify. I select this anchor point. Click and drag to modify. I select this anchor point. Click and drag to modify. I select this anchor point. Click and drag to modify. So that is how you can add additional anchor points. Next we have delete anchor point tool. 
Delete anchor point tool allows us to delete an anchor point. To delete an anchor point, first you need to select Delete anchor point tool. You can use the shortcut key minus. Move the mouse cursor on an anchor point to be deleted. Click to delete it. I go back here. I select the Delete anchor point tool. I move the mouse cursor on this anchor point and click. You can see that the anchor point is deleted. I click on this anchor point to delete. I click on this anchor point to delete. I click on this anchor point to delete. So that is how you can delete anchor points guys. I say control A and say delete. I select the pen tool. I click here to add an anchor point without handle. Click here to add an anchor point without handle. Click here to add an anchor point without handle. Click here to add an anchor point without handle and then I close the path. Let's proceed further and get more information. Next we understand convert anchor point tool. It has the shortcut key C. Convert anchor point tool allows us to convert an anchor point without handles to an anchor point with handles. It allows us to convert an anchor point with handles to an anchor point without handles. It also allows us to break the link between left and right handles guys. To use convert anchor point tool, first you need to select the convert anchor point tool. Move the mouse cursor on the anchor point. Click and drag to convert an anchor point without handles to an anchor point with handles. Click and drag to convert an anchor point without handles to an anchor point with handles. I go back here. At present all these four anchor points are anchor points without handles. What I do here, I select convert anchor point tool. I click and drag this anchor point to convert an anchor point without handles to an anchor point with handles. You can see that we have added handles here. I click and drag to convert an anchor point without handles to an anchor point with handles. Next, click to convert an anchor point with handles to an anchor point without handles. You just need to click to convert an anchor point with handles to an anchor point without handles. So for example, I click on this anchor point to remove the handles. I click on this anchor point to remove the handles. So we have converted an anchor point with handles to an anchor point without handles. I click and drag to convert an anchor point without handles to an anchor point with handles. Click and drag to convert an anchor point without handles to an anchor point with handles. And also you can observe that if I drag any of the handle, the other handle also rotates, right? We can break these handles guys. To break the handles, what you can do is click and drag the handle to break the link between left and right handles. You need to select the convert anchor point tool and then click and drag the handle to break the link between left and right handles. At present the convert anchor point tool is selected. I click and drag this handle. You can see that I have broken the link between left and right handles. I can independently modify the handles. Right? So that is the purpose of convert anchor point tool. I hope you guys have clearly understood. I say control A and say delete. Note. On pen tool being selected, hold down the alt key to temporarily activate the convert anchor point tool. I go back here. I select the pen tool. You can see that the pen tool is visible. If I hold down the alt key, it converts the pen tool to convert anchor point tool. It just temporarily enables the convert anchor point tool guys. If I let go the alt key, we are back to the pen tool. If I hold down the alt key, it converts the pen tool to convert anchor point tool. If I let go the alt key back to pen tool. So this is very very useful shortcut key. Let's take I want to draw the heart shape. So how do we draw the heart shape? What we can do? I click and drag. I click and drag to add an anchor point with handles which allows us to draw the curve. So I just click and drag here. You can see that I am creating a curved line. Next thing, I want to draw a curve from here to here like this. 
So I hold down the Alt key to activate the Convert Anchor Point tool. I click and drag the right handle to break the link between left handle and right handle. And then I click and drag here. You can see that I am drawing a curve now. And then I click and drag here to draw the curve. I want to break the handle now. What I have to do? I hold down the Alt key to activate the Convert Anchor Point tool. Click and drag the handle like that. And then click and drag here to close the path. You can see that I have drawn the heart shape. I select the selection tool. We know that selection tool allows us to select the shape. I have just double click on the path to select it. I select the paint bucket tool. You can see that I have selected the paint bucket tool. I change the fill color to red. I click here to fill that path. You can see that we have created a heart shape. So pen tool is used to create simple to complex artworks or shapes. It is also used to trace the already created artworks. In the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to discuss how do we use the pen tool to create complex shapes or complex artworks. We also understand how do we trace already created artworks. For this video tutorial, this much is enough friends. I suggest to people to watch this video again and again, understand everything clearly. In the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to discuss more about Adobe Flash. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.